Welcome to Transform Collections and Planning with AI Bots, a webcast brought to you by the Controllers Council. My name is Neil Brown, Executive Director of the Controllers Council. And before I introduce our expert presenters, let me mention some brief housekeeping items. First, use the GoToWebinar control panel to ask questions uh, at any time during the broadcast. And then next, and finally, you'll receive a link to this webcast uh, via email in the next 24 hours, so no need uh, to take notes or screenshots. So with that, uh, allow me to introduce our presenters. Jen Collins, a CPA and Director of Revenue at User Testing, a customer experience testing and management company and platform. And Nick Ezzo, a VP Marketing at Auditoria AI, finance automation with cutting edge AI, cognitive RPA, NLP, and ML technologies. Jen and Nick, welcome. Thanks, Neil. Great to be here. Yeah, excited to discuss collections automation. All right, so I'll just jump in, Neil. Um, the uh, the uh, tipping point, 2021 state of automation in the finance back office. So about a year ago, before the pandemic hit, um, we at Auditoria decided we were going to survey finance professionals. And we we, did, we put a survey out there. We got more than 200 responses. And we really used that to try to figure out what are the pain points in the back office. Well, this year, you know, post-pandemic or sort of, sort of mid to tail end of pandemic, we re-ran the survey. And instead of 200 participants, we got north of 500 participants, um, finance professionals worldwide, to help us understand the state of automation in the back office. So we asked questions like, tasks that take most of your time, top challenges within the finance back office, and where they see the, the, the current state and where the future state of automation will be going. So I'd like to spend just a minute or two setting the stage before we get into the panel to give you just a little framework about what are the challenges that people like you are seeing every day. Next slide, please. All right, so what are the overall challenges of the finance back office? Well, not surprising, time spent on repetitive tasks and time spent checking and updating the work of others hands down the most um, the biggest challenges from most of our participants you can see also you know tools outdated processes lack of uh, resources and so on but you know it's these repetitive tasks that keep bogging down sales teams and marketing teams and in this case finance teams um, checking other people's work something that is not a lot of fun and nobody went to accounting school to, to check somebody else's work so let's drill into that a little bit more and find out uh, on the next slide how do we how do we think about these challenges? So if you add those those two buckets together, time spent on repetitive tasks and, and checking and updating data, literally 60% of people said, these are my biggest issues. Uh, interestingly enough, when you think about how much time people spend on uh, requesting, like following up, requesting info, sending communications, 30% of people said they spend six to 10 hours a week doing that. 20% of people said they spend 10 or more hours a week doing these routine mundane follow-ups. Um, that's 50% of, of finance people right now are doing things that, in my opinion, probably could be automated. And then, you know, no surprise, the functions with the most manual work, AP and AR, and Jen's going to tell us a great story about user testing and how they freed up a lot of their time on the collection side, a little preview for our uh, finance panel. Next. So then we asked, you know, what are the primary day-to-day -day challenges? So again, the, the lack of responsiveness from employees, vendors, and customers, the repetitive follow-ups from customers and vendors, those were the biggies. In second place, we had inaccurate um, and, and partially complete information from vendors and customers, difficulty uh, using outdated tools and so on and so forth. And then, you know, again, 16% of people also said time wasted on getting approvals. So you can see that the back office is actually ripe for finance transformation. So we can just jump to the next one and uh, let's drill down on some of the, the, the most beneficial to the finance function. People said, if you can reduce the number of repetitive tasks and you can reduce the manual tasks, you know, our lives would be better. So the market is literally clamoring for a better way of, of doing things, a better way of managing the, the finance back office. Um, interestingly enough, 38% of the people who we surveyed said they plan on investing in new technologies to improve their back office processes in the next year, which I think is very exciting for companies like us and you know companies like user testing, of course. Next slide. So how do we take what we learned in our survey and operationalize that? You know, I work for a company that, that sells an automated solution. We sell AI bots. We provide AI bots for forward-thinking companies like user testing and others. 
Um, but so automation is kind of at the heart of what we do. Um, I've said to, to marketing teams in the past, if, if you're doing something and you feel like a robot while you're doing it, chances are a robot should be doing it. And so think about all those back office tasks that we do every day in finance. Um, those are the types of things that, that we, um, we automate. What are the key benefits of that? Well, transparency. Um, we can see everything that the system is doing. The bots aren't out on their own. They're not running rampant out there in, in the finance world. They're in a very controlled um, environment and they're doing exactly the things that we tell them to do. Um, kind of like your, your, uh, your Amazon or Google Home device um, is not gonna go rogue and do all kinds of crazy things. Um, AI and bots, they, they don't do that. So transparency is key. And then of course, efficiency. Um, we want to increase those efficiencies improve the margins, improve cash performance, and make companies healthier, and also make their employees happier with the reduction of all those manual processes. So the last slide before we jump into the user 